Kupali Venkatapa Puttappa the 29th of December 1904 to the 11th of November 1994 popularly known by his pen name Kuvampu was an Indian novelist poet playwright critic and thinker He is widely regarded as the greatest Kannada poet of the 20th century he is the first among Kannada writers to be by decorated with the Jnanpith Award. Kuvampu studied at Mysuru University in the 1920s, taught there for nearly three decades, and served as its vice chancellor from 1956 to 1960. He initiated education in Kannada as the language medium. For his contributions to Kannada literature, the government of Karnataka decorated him with the honorific Rashtrakavi National Poet, in 1958 and Karnataka Ratna. The Gem of Karnataka, in 1992. His epic narrative Sri Ramayana Darshanam, a modern rendition of the Indian Hindu epic Ramayana, is regarded as the revival of the era of Mahakavya, great epic poetry, in contemporary form and charm. His writings and his contribution to universal humanism, in his own words, Vishwamanavada Vada, gives him a unique place in modern Indian literature. He was conferred the Padma Vibhushan by the Government of India in 1988. He penned the Karnataka state anthem Jaya Bharata Jananiya Tanuhate. Biography Early life and education Kuvampu was born in Harikodaj, a village in Chikmagalur district of the erstwhile Kingdom of Mysore now in Karnataka, into a Kannada-speaking Vakaliga family. His mother Sithama hailed from his birthplace while his father Venkatapa Gauda was from Kupali, a village in Thirthahali Taluk in present-day Shimoga district, where he was raised. Early in his childhood, Kuvampu was homeschooled by an appointed teacher from South Kanara. He joined the Anglo Vernacular School in Thirthahali to continue his middle school education. Kuvampu's father died when he was only 12. He finished his lower and secondary education in Kannada and English languages in Thirthahali and moved to Mysore for further education at the Wesleyan High School. Thereafter, he pursued college studies at the Maharaja College of Mysore and graduated in 1929, majoring in Kannada. Topic. Family Kuvampu married Hemavathi on 30 April 1937. He was forced to enter marital life on this faculty out of Ramakrishna mission. Kuvampu has two sons, Pornachandra Tihaswi and Kokaladaya Shetra, and two daughters, Indakala and Tharini. Tharini is married to K. Chidananda Gauda the former vice-chancellor of Kuvampu University. His home in Mysore is called Udayaravi. Rising Sun. His son Pornachandra Tihaswi was a polymath, contributing significantly to Kannada literature, photography, calligraphy, digital imaging, social movements, and agriculture. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. Kuvampu began his academic career as a lecturer of Kannada language at the Maharaja's College in Mysore in 1929. He worked as an assistant professor in the Central College, Bangalore from 1936. He rejoined Maharaja's College in Mysore in 1946 as a professor, group photo. He went on to become the principal of the Maharaja's College in 1955. In 1956 he was selected as the vice-chancellor of Mysore University where he served till retirement in 1960. He was the first graduate from Mysore University to rise to that position. Topic. Works and message Kuvampu started his literary work in English, with a collection of poetry called Beginner's Muse but later switched to his native Kannada. He spearheaded the movement to make Kannada the medium for education, emphasizing the theme, education in the mother tongue. To cater to the needs of Kannada research, he founded the Kannada Adhyana Samsta, Institute of Kannada Studies in the Mysore University, which has since been renamed after him as Kuvampu Institute of Kannada Studies. As Vice-Chancellor of Mysore University, he pioneered the study of sciences and languages. He championed the publishing of knowledge for the layman with by G. Hanumanta Rao. Kuvampu was more than a writer for his life was in itself a great message. 
He was against casteism, meaningless practices and religious ritual. Kuvampu's writings reflect his resentment against these practices. The Shudra Tapasvi, untouchable saint, was one such writing. Kuvampu gave a perspective to the ancient epic Ramayana that was quite unlike the portrayal of the characters by the original author Valmiki. Kuvampu's version of the epic called Sri Ramayana Darshanam won him the prestigious Jnanpith Award. His epic underscores his vision of Sarvadaya, upliftment of all. The protagonist of his epic, the Hindu god Rama, personifies this when he tests himself along with his consort Sita by jumping into the fire. The speech he made during the convocation ceremony of Bangalore University was published in the book Visharakranthij Awana. It calls for a reassessment of developmental policies. Though it was delivered in 1974, the message is still considered relevant to modern society. In the year 1987, the government of Karnataka started the Kuvampu University in the Shimoga district, Karnataka. This is located in the Niana Sayadri campus, 28 km from Shimoga city. Quotes Chakrakaranake Swagatha, Welcome to Wheel Footed, when he bought his first car. Aluva Yogi, Tilling Yogi, is the title he gave the farmer. Sarvaraj Samapalu, Sarvaraj Samabalu, Equal Share for All, Equal Life for All, when he called for egalitarian society. O Nana Chetana, Agu Ne Anikatana, Be unhoused, O my soul, only the infinite is your goal. Bibliography Awards and honours Karnataka Ratna Padma Vibhushan Pampa Award Jnanpith Award Rashtrakavi National Poet, 1964. Padma Bhushan, 1958. Sahitya Akademi Award, 1955. To landmark the Golden Jubilee of Kannada's first Jnanapith Award on the 29th of December 2017, Kuvampu's 113th birth anniversary, Google India dedicated a Google Doodle in his honor. Topic: Memorials. Topic Kavimane Kuvampu Memorial The childhood home of Kuvampu at Kupali has been converted into a museum by Rashtrakavi Kuvampu Pratishtana, a trust dedicated to Kuvampu. This trust has undertaken immense developmental works in Kupali to showcase Kuvampu and his works to the external world. On November 23, 2015 night, many valuables including the Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan awards conferred on poet laureate Kuvampu were stolen from Kavimane. The entire museum has been ransacked. The surveillance cameras there have also been damaged. The Jnanapith award kept there has remained intact. Topic: <laughs> Kavishela The gradually rising hill south of the house is named Kavishela. Kuvampu's mortal remains were placed at Kavishela. Topic: <inaudible> Biographies on Kuvampu. Anana Nenapu, Pornachandra Tihazwi. Yugada Kavi, K.C. Shiva Reddy. Kuvampu, Pradhan Gurudatta. Magalu Kanda Kuvampu, Tharini Chidananda Commemoration The Kuvampu University in Shimoga, Karnataka was established in 1987. The Vishwamanava Express was named in honor of Kuvampu's idea of Vishwamaneva, Universal Man. India Post honoured Kuvampu by releasing a postage stamp in 1997 and 2017. See also Kannada 
Kannada literature Kannada poetry Rashtrakavi, for a list of poets who have borne that title. <laughs>